Hey, what's up with you guys? Um, I'm going to do a little segment on Raw. My opinions, not that it really matters, but I want to put a video out there. So, the Shield might be getting back together. I didn't get to see them wrestle, but I did watch all the other, like, the older uh, recordings of when they were together. So, to be able to see them come back is going to be exciting, hopefully. I'm hoping they do come back. Um, the fans want it. I would like to see it. That way I can actually see them in action. But, uh, after tonight's Monday Night Raw, um, I'm not going to say everything that happened, but the... Miz trying to take over the shield, you know, arm shake or whatever you want to call it. The uh, mocking, there you go. The Miz mocking the, the shield is just wrong. I personally think it's wrong. So, for them to come back would be awesome. And it would put Miz and the Miz Drage off the maps. So, we could stop hearing him talk. But, uh, that's my opinion on that. Um, as far as TLC comes, I know that's a couple weeks. I think they said three weeks left. Uh, in three weeks, t TLC. Um, I'm hoping the Shield comes back, and I'm hoping they have a match against the Mistrage. And I believe that the Shield's going to win, obviously. You know, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose finally got together like everybody wanted. All the fans. Um, but Roman hasn't done the greatest the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, he beat John Cena and he beat The Undertaker. Well, the fans hated him after he beat The Undertaker. And that's not what they want. They want Roman to be a fan favorite again. And I'm not one for... The bad decisions that the wrestlers make. But what Rem did is whatever. You know, people need to just chill out. They need to understand that wrestling, it happens. How many other wrestlers out there did the same stuff? And they were a fan favorite. But Roman Reigns does it, and he's a bad guy. And so what if he beat The Undertaker? I'm an un I used to like The Undertaker. The man's old. I mean, that's one way to end his career. I mean, I don't know if he really did end his career or not. But when, from what everybody's saying, he's done. But he never, saw, he never said that he was done. He never actually retired. But... For everybody to hate Roman Reigns because of that, it's just wrong. Roman Reigns has been through a lot. You know, the match with the the incident where it was 29 versus 1. He just got destroyed. You know, Triple H come out there and beat the living crap out of him. Drew blood. He stood back up. You know why? Because he's a Samoan. He's related to the Usos. You get hit, you fight. Keep going. Keep getting up and going. Nothing stops you. But that's my opinion. I'm, I'm just trying to get some opinion. I'm a big WWE fan. I watch Raw. Didn't really like SmackDown Live until just recently. Because the Shane McMahon, Kevin Owens thing, that's going to be a good match. But that's going to be another video. I want to try to start doing some opinions on Monday Night Raw each week. And then SmackDown Live on Tuesdays. Uh, but it's just going to be my opinion on each match. Or not each match, just like the main events. Like, I'm a Re Reigns fan. I can't stand The Miz. The Miz, I wish just would just leave WWE 
But again, that's my opinion. That's not going to happen. But, uh... I think... I think... That Roman Reigns, after tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw... I recorded it, so I kind of watched it late because I got off at 10. So... I think with the shield coming back together, hopefully, that it would make Raw would be a lot better. Finally, they can have a good a good team out there other than the Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys are good. But with Jeff being out again or hurt, that they're not a team anymore right now. So right now you got the Miz, Taraj, which is annoying because no, they do nothing but cheat. You got um, Sheamus and Cesaro, which I can't stand them. Then you got Dean and Seth, which who have the title. But everybody that goes against Dean and Seth have tackled, have have destroyed them, and it's not right. Wrestling should be wrestling, not attacking somebody from behind. Have you? I don't remember even seeing Roman Reigns ever attack somebody from behind. But uh, I think, like I said, I think Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins getting back together. I think this is my this is my prediction. I think next Monday is going to be the Shield, which they might not reunite yet. I've heard rumors that it's going to be TLC, which, okay. But I believe that they're going to team up next week and face The Miz in The Miz Taraj. Or it could be The Miz and Sheamus and Cesaro. Because Dean and Seth had had it out with um, Cesaro and Sheamus. And then The Miz... And Roman had it out. So that would be perfect to bring the Shield back one one time. And I've seen videos of the Shield getting back together on the live events. Like the ones that they don't actually show on TV. So for the Shield to come back, it's definitely going to change Raw. Now, will they split up in the future? Probably. Again. Um... But after five years, Seth Rollins took the bad turn and turned on him. So, it's been five years. Get over it. Team up. Kick some. You know what. And go out and win some championships. I mean, heck. Uh, Roman Reigns, if he teams up with Seth Rollins, Dean, Am- uh, bleh, sorry. Dean Ambrose. He's already a champion because the other two got the titles. Then they can go out and keep them titles week by week whenever they defend them. But that's my opinion. So, um, like I said, I'm going to try to keep doing this each week, each Monday. It's going to be uh, my own little playlist. I was going to start my own channel, but then I was like, no. I'm just going to do my own videos, my own little playlist, WW, um, anything on Raw, and then anything on SmackDown. So it's probably going to be two different playlists, and I I will do tomorrow night. Again, I'll record it, so it'll be a little later around this time. About that, guys. We had a little visitor. Um, but anyways, and my... You like Raw? As he holds up a car's bag. But anyways. Uh, that, that's going to be it for today. Or tonight. Um, Monday Night Raw's opinion. I'm not sure what I'm going to title it yet. But my little boy right here likes Raw, don't you? We got to experience Raw this year. When the Extreme Rules came to Baltimore. Did you have fun then? We stood in line for five hours. Waiting for them to open the doors. And this one right here. Fell asleep. 
Didn't you? Was you tired? Uh -huh. So, anyways, like this video, subscribe to this channel, or Free Generation, and share, um, yeah. comment down below on your opinion yeah. on Raw, if you're a big fan. I know yeah. there's a lot of you out there. Yeah. So, like, subscribe, share, comment, um, and that that's probably going to be it, right? You got to go to sleep. You yeah. got to go to school in the morning. So, Alright, this is Matt and Darren out, right? Yeah. Alright, say we're out. Um, you want to do the honors? Yeah. Do your thing. Cover the lens.